consider an arithmetical linear sequence which has the second term equal to 8 and the fifth term equal to 10. Determine the constant difference of this sequence. We know that normally when we see such kind of equation, what we can basically do is to express the terms in terms of a and d, where term number 2 is equals to a plus d and term number 5 will be equals to a plus 4d. Then you go and replace term number 2 with 8 and term number 5 with 10. Then you solve for A and D using simultaneous method, or rather the elimination method. But this method is quite long, and we know we are mathematicians, we want to save time. All right. So basically in this video, I'm going to show you the new formula for sequences that has been discovered that you can use to solve for the common difference in the fastest way as possible in just 10 seconds. Okay, so let's go. So basically, we know that to find the common difference, previously what we used to do is would apply this formula to say common difference is basically equals to the following term subtraction, the previous term. Okay, so basically you must have your terms which are consecutive. For example, term number one and term number two. Basically to find the common difference, you say term two minus term one. Or if you have term 3 again, this will be the same also as term 3 minus term 2. Okay, but in this case, we only have the second term, term number 2, and the fifth term, which is term number 5. And these two terms are not consecutive to each other. Okay, so basically to solve this, I'm going to show you the new formula that you can use to solve this problem in just 10 seconds. And you basically find your constant difference isn't this amazing okay so the new formula says and it applies for any arithmetic sequence right any arithmetic sequence where the terms given are consecutive or not consecutive just like in this case okay so the formula will say common difference in case where the terms are not consecutive even if, even if they are consecutive the common difference will be equals to the highest term minus the lowest term. So in this case, the highest term is term 5. The lowest term is term 2. Divided by the difference of their natural values, of their natural position, which is 5 minus 2. So we're going to divide by 5 minus 2, which is the difference of their natural values. Okay. So what is term number 5? Term number 5 is 10 minus what is term number 2 is 8 divided by 5 minus 2 which is what which is 3 therefore finally our common difference will be equals to 10 minus 8 which is 2 over 3 so that is the common difference in just 10 seconds i know you might be curious wanting to know how this formula works or actually what's the inspiration behind this formula how is it true how valid is it how correct is it okay so basically this formula was discovered based on inspiration that an arithmetic or linear sequence is logically equivalent to a straight line function okay and this is true and we can see that from the general formula for an arithmetic sequence this is true because an arithmetic sequence looks like it's forming a what a straight line function right so where the gradient is basically the same as the common difference so basically what you had to know is the common difference in an arithmetical linear sequence is basically logically the same as the gradient if we had points forming what forming a straight line function all right so you know that in a straight line function a point is x and f of x right then if we have to make points for an arithmetic sequence the points will be n and what and f of n or basically tn right so now this can give us an idea of how we can find the common difference 
without basically using simultaneous equation anymore right if you are just given any random terms what you can basically do just like our previous example we had term number two which was eight and term number five which was equals to ten so you can go and identify and write this as points then n represent x and tn will represent f of x right so in this case term 2 equals to 8 your n is 2 and your t2 which is your tn in this case is 8 then on this one your n is 5 and your tn is what is 10 so you now have two points you can now go and find your what your gradient finding the gradient between these two points would mean that you have calculated your common difference and this is the inspiration of that formula hence we said to find the common difference would say term number five minus term number two divided by the difference between the natural positions of these uh, terms which is five minus two so basically you do the same whether you get term number three and term 100 what you do common difference would just be basically term 100 minus term 3 divided by 100 minus 3 then you go and solve for your common difference so that's the inspiration of this formula i hope you find this helpful